I got one on Laurel and one on Jeffrey Simmons. I guess as far as as far as merch goes, what what's kind of big in his development? Uh, what's been big in his development this off season, and uh, and how much better equipped should he be for the year after maybe having a whole off season? Uh, you know what I think. I mean, really for him and like most of the guys, just getting uh, bigger and stronger in the weight room with uh, with Frank. I mean, and and really just learning and enhancing our techniques as best as we um, as best as we can during these times. I mean, we get a lot of individual work and um, he's doing doing really good in those individual drills. So uh, looking forward to what it, seeing what he looks like when we put pads on in training camp. And hey, what's to say about Jeffrey? I, I know this is a time of year when you don't necessarily have to be there, but, but Jeffrey's been out there every day, you know, wearing the football pants, look like he's been working hard. Uh, you, you know all about his commitment. Is it kind of speak even more about what he's about and how, how do you like what you've seen from him this off season? I mean, honestly, Jim, he, I think, I mean, the guy cares about the, the football team and, um, I mean, that's really why he's out there. And like you said, he doesn't have to be out there just like uh, most of the guys um, don't. I mean, it's voluntary, but he's out there working his butt off and um, trying to do the things that we're asking him to do to get better. So um, it's exciting to watch him. Uh, Emily? Yeah, Coach, uh, Jeffrey Simmons told us last week that he had kind of changed his diet around and, and slimmed down a little bit. I'm going to be honest, looking at him, he just looks like a, a gigantic human being. So from your perspective, somebody that works with him all the time, do you see a difference in his physique and the way he's able to use his body? Uh, not, I mean, I don't know about his physique. <laughs> I, I think that I think that he's always been a guy that's, uh, that's been in really good shape and uh, you know, he came in when, when it was time for him to show up, and he's in, in really good shape right now. And I think he'll continue to um, to do that. And and like I said to Jim, it's important to him. The team's important to him. So um, that's kind of how he prepares, like the team's important to him, and, and, um, and he wants to get better. Uh, Joe Retro. Hey, Coach, and sorry, I, I, I missed the very beginning here, but um, Danico, what, what, is, what does he bring? What do you think he'll bring, and what kind of a, uh, you know, partnership could he and Jeff have inside there? Uh, I mean, he brings NFL experience. I mean, he's been a starter. He's played in multiple schemes. Um, you know, he can do a, do a lot of different things from a football standpoint. And um, the thing I like most about him, I was in Oakland. I was the his position coach in uh, 2000, I think it was 14, when we um, brought him in as an undrafted free agent in the same draft class as uh, Khalil Mack and Justin Ellis that plays for uh, for uh, Baltimore and Shelby Harris from from. Um, from the uh, Denver Broncos and Nico was the only one not drafted out of that class. But thing I, I, I liked about him then and I like about him now is he's all business, um, works his butt off um, and he's willing to do whatever we ask him to do. So um, I'm excited to get back with him. John Glennon. One, um, all right. Yeah, go ahead. Think, okay. Um, yeah, one question was uh, Tier Tart. Uh, you know, I, I think Stan now, you know, looks to, uh, you know, maybe get, get a number of snaps this year. Uh, what did you see from him last year in terms of progress? And, and at the same time, you know, what, what's he need if he's going to, you know, get even more snaps and then uh, playing time in the coming year? I mean, not only our rookies, but um, every rookie around the league uh, that came in last year, um, you know, they, they were at a disadvantage because they didn't have the, the off-season program and training camp was different than get to play games. So, um, you know, I think with Tart, obviously he wouldn't be here if we didn't see the, the talent in the guy. Um, really the biggest thing for me is just um, just having him just continue to to develop from a strength standpoint from a 
from a, a learning standpoint. And, and again, he's another guy that I'm really excited about to see what he does in, in, in training camp. And he's had really a good off season program. And, um, and when, when he did get in there, I thought uh, a year ago, I thought he did some good things. So I'm really excited about him. I wonder if I could toss one follow at you also. Um, I'm sure I'm going to butcher his name, but uh, Keneche Udize, uh, um, you know, what uh, What kind of guy is he and, and um, you know, what, what's he brought, um, you know, to the to the D-line room and, and to yourself? Uh, yeah, and that's uh, Keneche Udize. You could just okay. call him KU. Um, but he, he's a guy that I've known um, over the years. It's funny because we're, we grew up not – far um, away from each other in South Central Los Angeles. Um, and then over the years, um, got to know him as a, as a coach. And, and um, what he does is he brings, brings some experience from a coaching standpoint and from a, from a player standpoint. Um, and, and I love, love the guy, love his story. And um, again, he's done a good job with our, with our players and blended in with our staff so far. Uh, Terry? Coach, uh, Avery Jones was a guy that you guys kind of brought in a little bit under the radar. What kind of things does he bring as a veteran player to this, to this defensive line? Experience. I mean, he's been in the, been in the battles. Um, you know, again, it's, it's hard to say with any of those guys, especially a guy that just showed up uh, last week, um, exactly what he's going to bring uh, without really getting a watch him um, go full speed. But again, based on his uh, history, he's at least played um, in this division and played in some meaningful NFL games. So, um, you know, again, I'm looking forward to watching him compete as well in the, in the, um, in the fall. Uh, Teron. Hey, what's up, Coach Williams? Uh, looking at, at Laurel Murchison, uh, what are some of the things that you're expecting from him as far as that next step is concerned? Really, um, Teron, really just getting continuing to get better. I mean, I thought I know he didn't play much um, last year, and um, you know, I don't know if you're on here before, but I kind of mentioned with with Tart and with the rookies just in general, um, it's difficult for these defensive linemen to come in and not have, not have training or they had training camp, um, but not have the preseason games, um, you know, and he was playing behind some uh, good players for us. So really the biggest thing that I'm looking for is just continued um, improvement and just getting bigger and stronger and kind of doing the things that we're looking forward to him um, doing for us.